dogs learn to roll over. Gunther IV is rolling in dough. He inherited 372 million. The caviar gobbling canine lives in Madonna's former Miami mansion and owns dog houses in the Caribbean and Italy. Many people, including celebrities, have ensured their pups will stay prosperous by setting up pet trust funds. Each of Oprah's pooches is reportedly in line for 30 million. I am a woman who loves dogs. Not surprisingly, the process of leaving money to your mutt involves a list of steps. First, you need a caregiver. Oprah would need to pick first a caregiver. Who's going to take care of the dog? Gail. Oh, yeah. Are you really surprised? Next, you need someone to shepherd the money. That provides a good check and balance. Right. All of a sudden, Gail is in Lake Como buying a mansion. Yeah. For the dog. For the dog. <laughs> and last, you need backups for each of these. And forget about Gail. Oprah's relatives could try to take a bite out of Mr. Fluffy's trust. Can other people in the family try to get at the money? They can, and they might be successful if the judge determines that it's just way too much. For instance, Leona Helmsley, she left that 12 million and the judge reduced it to about 2 million because the dog only needed 190,000 a year. If you don't have a multimedia empire, but you still want to take care of your pets from beyond the grave, Here's how it works. There's a minimum fee. It's going to vary from state to state. A minimum of 500 no matter where you go. If you want them well tended, the total amount should be more. Probably 10,000 is going to be a minimum. Harry airs on The Breakdown.